Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to Mario's Paint Class. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I will be showing you the simple trick that I use to get the maximum performance from my WSI water. This gun is arguably the best clear gun out there, so stay tuned. Here is the best clear gun, in my opinion, because this gun is really awesome. Now, let's let's set this up real quick before we go into further details now this is a known technique to work when setting up your gun the gunman does this paint society does this and i do just the same you catch the cap on there and then you hold down the trigger you turn it until you feel a push on this finger now you can turn it one more time or you can back it out one more time and you're usually set now this is your fan control now let's get some clear in there and show you how awesome this fan is compared to other guns. All right guys, watch as I squeeze the trigger. Do you see how wide the fan pattern is? This just simply means that no matter how big or how small the job may be, this gun can knock it down in no time at all. This gun have state of the art automizing technology it facilitates a faster and smoother application it can use in any weather at all now when it comes to fluid guys the way this gun is designed you have unlimited fluid you can do whatever you want with your fluid you can control that fluid by making your fan narrow or making it more wide and that is the simple trick that i'll be using in this video because I notice it is a success for me. Now, depending on how small or how big the panel is, I adjust my fan and you'll see it. All right, guys, we couldn't have had a more beautiful color to lay down some gloss on. Now, this is the Apex Blue. Very beautiful color. When the clear hits it, it's just going to pop. And we have quite a few panels to really put the eye water to work. Okay, getting down to business. Now, guys, I must mention something here. This gun requires a decent compressor, at least 30 gallons. Now I'm gonna start spraying here with the fan completely wide open. And what you're gonna notice is that it's gonna take a lot more passes to get full coverage with your clear. Because now it's not a very even fan. And a subscriber actually mentioned this some time ago that I should try turning in the fan about two to three um, turns and see if I don't see a better result and I actually do so I will look for that comment and give that person a shout out now I turn in the fan more narrow now I have more focus of my clear coat a more even fan but that's gonna change when I start spraying the hood but for the door and the fender I'll keep it narrow and also the bumper now you see the edge of my clear here it looks really good not too peely where it's excessive and you're gonna have to give it a flow coat or buff it now as I'm about to lay down the clear on the hood what I'm going to do is make the fan actually wide open now I know I said it's gonna take a lot more passes but think about this for a second the hood is one of the biggest panels on the car and it's also the easiest panel to have dry spots so because I don't want any dry spots on the hood, I have the fan wide open. Now I can cover a lot more ground on the hood. All I'm just going to do now is go a little bit slower while overlapping 80 to 90%. Here's something to bear in mind. If you make your fan more narrow, you're going to have to adjust one or two things. You're going to have to adjust your speed or you're going to have to adjust the pressure. The same thing when it goes to making the fan wide open. One of the reasons why I love this gun so much is because it has so much adjustment without losing any quality. Now there are other good gun clear guns out there like I really love the DV1 clear coat gun but even that gun had its flaws because the C1 cap that they had wasn't most painters was complaining about how it automizes the paint the clear and they had to come up with a c2 cap which is supposed to make it better most painters see a little difference and some do not all i know is when they decide to make this iwata gun i felt like they felt every painter's pain 
and that's why they did such a really good job with this gun now there is good news on the iwata there is a new one coming out in november so i can't wait to try that gun nevertheless enjoy the rest of the video i hope this makes some kind of sense to you if not please leave a comment don't be afraid to leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on my explanation and this video